that was a trip. What's she doing here? Instead of teleporting to her destination, Twilight excitedly trots there just to watch Spike suffer. Stallion is mildly concerned that Daisy is frozen solid. Reminder that the creature which swims in lava still sweats. It's such a shame Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy had to miss it for their Cloudsdale Flight School reunion. Even good exposition can be a sin for giving us a hint of an episode we'll never see. They're each very upset with one another in this scene, even refusing to walk home next to one another. Yet later, we learn that Pinkie Pie got along very well with Applejack and has no reason not to join her. Might right trigger. <laughs> Whoa there, Twilight. Don't overexert yourself while exercising. At least that might be why Twilight places the cup using levitation, then moves it again with her hoof. Cleaning with spit. Although, to be fair, alicorn spit may have magical cleaning properties for all we know. But you'd also expect an alicorn to possess far more hygienic cleaning magic. But once Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie have some tea and talk it out, I'm sure every pony will feel better. The opening credits are still rolling, Twilight. Don't count on a solution that quickly. Gummy Opalescence and Winona? No, it's Gummy, Winona, and Opalescence. Poor AJ can't even get a break from being last when it's her pet. This crab is now landlocked in the center of the continent and doesn't have a great chance of survival. Instead of flying the flag of Equestria, the boat flies the flag of where the show is made. I had brought a small bag with just a few key essentials. After Rarity's line about just a few key essentials, the wind itself laughs so hard that it loses its breath. Large serving tray removed from comically small bag. Applejack points to her destination port side, then turns starboard. A day of opulence, decadence, and... Decadence is defined by moral decay, and that's pretty much the definition of a sin. It's freshly spun! Freshly spun where? Are those chocolate chip? What, the round purple things? Could it be? Hasbro board games in a show all about Hasbro's dolls? <laughs> they wouldn't! Pinky mistaking the fight for a fun game of tug of war is exactly what you'd expect from the other two stories, but this is in fact Pinky's own account. How did you all get rescued? Ah, oh, that's easy. We just. <laughs> That's it. Spike reacts as if Pinky has left, but she was baking a mere few steps away and had no trouble continuing the conversation at the oven a moment ago. Also, it was only the previous episode where Pinky said, Starlight spell made me burn perfectly good cake. I never burn cake. Perhaps Starlight's mind control spell isn't as temporary as we thought? We've got to go talk to Applejack. Good idea. She'll straighten this out. In the search for truth, the element of honesty is consulted last. I'm flying, Applejack. That food isn't fit for a pony of proper breeding, darling. Sure, make the white pony a racist. Cucumber sandwiches on the other hoof. It's a sin when ponies say on the other hand, but on the other hoof is also a sin, considering the idiom refers to two options and not four. Sim counter always wins. Rary Jack Glomp is still more canon than Apple Dash. Why, this will make a perfect tablecloth for my cheese board. AJ's version of Rarity thinks some dirty old map would be a suitable surface for food. Either that makes a lot of sense or no sense at all, depending on how you look at it. One thing all of their stories have in common is that the map was actually made of rubber. Did AJ lie about losing her trademark hat, or did Twilight assume that it was lost even though she's wearing it right now? Twilight wasn't able to convince the friends to meet and talk it over at the castle, yet somehow she's able to convince them to meet at the very location of the incident. Which, mind you, is a coastal city. They had to travel all the way from Ponyville without bumping into each other on the train, but still arrive on the dock within seconds of each other. Except for Pinky, that is. She just teleports here. I'm just waiting for an apology. That's rich coming from you, Applejack. We're all still waiting on an apology for that broken Pinky promise. Why would you want me to apologize when it was Rarity's fault? Applejack never even slightly implied that it was directed at Pinky. As mentioned, Pinky has been cool with AJ up until this point. A trihorned bunyip who's very sorry he accidentally knocked over your boat. You better hope that trihorn bunyip has really good insurance. Perfect time to do things that were silly and fun. The elegant cruise I thought you deserved. Wanted to give you two a high seas adventure. Applejack is the only so pony who wasn't completely up. selfish with her plans. Casually desecrating potentially priceless artifacts. Also, who knows what kind of germs or harmful magic these hold. If this wasn't the happy ending to an episode, uncovering these items could have just as easily unleashed some ancient evil upon Equestria. Really looking forward to getting out of their element. Getting out of their element? Get out of their element to get my friends out of their element to get out of their element. You wanted to get out of their element? You wanted to get out of their element? To get the others out of their element. Out of your element. Embellish the story just a tad. Who 
is the princess of friendship? Your mom? Huh, they just keep coming. 